Hi guys, so we're doing my shop my stash today, but last week I forgot to fetch all this stuff in. I did a video on plan to pan 24 in 2024, so I think there's 26 items in here all together, but like say mascaras for instance, I use them together, so I'm just counting them as one. So I think we have got 24 items, but a lot of them are practically nearly done, so I just need to find a place for them. The only thing I can think of, because there's so much of it, is to put it in here where I keep my palettes. And then I don't know where I'm going to put my palettes. So, I mean, the foundation, the Wet n Wild foundation that I was using last week, that can go on top. I mean, I've not put things away yet from my shop mine stash, so that can go on top. So let's just put that there for a minute. And then everything else, though, I need to find a home for. So let's empty this out. Right, so it's completely empty. I could do with something to go inside to separate it. But for now, we're just going to have to make do with it being empty like this. Right, and I'm going to show you how I'm doing it. So I'm hand holding it so it might be a bit unstable. So here's my um, Project Pan palette. If you haven't seen it or you didn't see the last video, I'm going to put the Plan to Pan video up. So it's only the ones that I've got pan in them that I really, really want to finish up. The smaller eyeshadow, that's a colour part one. Um, I want to use that as well. Maybe some of the browns I'll I'll be more tempted to use if I'm using this a lot. But yeah, I definitely want to use this more. Right, concealers, like things I use all the time, and primers, they don't need to go in here. We've also got the two eyeliners there, don't need to go in there. So it might be easy. I just need to remember to use everything. We'll put these mascaras in here though. And these lipsticks. There, uh, can go in the shop my stash. That can. And that can. Right, so there's actually not that much in there. Would that would all of that have fitted in that top drawer up there? I think it may have done. Hang on, let's let's try and do this. Okay, so if I clean this up a little bit better, maybe the products in this drawer will fit in this drawer. Okay, so they would fit in here, so I'm just going to keep them in here as normal. I just need to remember to reach for them. I mean, I know that this is a project pan draw, but what I mean is I need to make a conscious effort to reach for them. So we've got lip glosses, we've got the blusher, we've got the highlighter, we've got the Max Soft and Gentle Still, the Makeup Geek Shadows, the powders. Um, this has been in for a while. I mean, if I can, I wouldn't mind getting this out. I mean, I've already hit significant pan on that, um, but it's not part of Project Pan. It's not part of the 24 in 2024. And I want to keep this in here just in case I want to pull a couple of singles out. We're still shopping my stash, but we're not going to be, you know, I'm not going to be as extravagant at shopping my stash. So I need to put certain things away. So let's um, just get into that now. Okay, I've been using these that Amy have sent to me. I just wanted to show you them. I used this one yesterday with the Glaminatrix Nocturnal Palette. It's in the shade Deep End. I sound like I said Depend, Deep End. You can see it's a Deep End anyway. Um, and then this one is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On in the shade Vice. Right, so this is what the drawers look like now. Pretty much same as normal, to be honest. like that then we're gonna go here i'm gonna put most of this back i think i'll talk you through it loved using that i actually did a is it a dupe between goddess of love goddess of faith and the benefit cookie i don't think it's a dupe but i think it looks very very similar on the cheeks both of them can go back 
this blush can go back as well. I didn't use this, so I might keep this out for another way just, just to use it. I did use this one, however, at the back. Really like that. I only used it once, I think. I want to I wanna keep that for another week. I don't think we'll be pulling much. And then this one can go back. I used that, I think, maybe once or twice. I never used this. I also use this for the eyes. I don't think I used it on the cheeks at all, actually. The Glam Light Michaela Part 2. Gosh, it's so stunning, guys. And I only used Starstruck and Blinding. I didn't use that gold one. So all that's going back. And then what I'm keeping in, have you guessed? What I pulled last week. I'm just not ready to put it back yet. Today I'm going to pull... A couple of more categories like obviously we've got blusher bronzer and highlighter in here so i want to keep that i want to keep the rare beauty highlighter in oh it's just over there for highlighter they're both new and i feel like oh and i've also got the mac soft and gentle haven't i i think i want to bring the mac soft and gentle in here just so i do know it's there i don't i obviously know it's there but and the stick i obviously know it's there but at least that way now when i open my drawers it's like boom in your face so they can obviously stay there the only thing that i'm not doing this with is eyeshadow palettes just because i've got too many to actually be focusing on an eyeshadow palette i mean in a sense i am focusing on an eyeshadow palette but mainly the mattes the eyeshadow palette we used last week as you know was the nocturnal palette what the hell's that on it this is absolutely stunning i mean just look at it i mean you like especially milky way you can see how much use i've already had in that shade because i use that quite a lot but yeah it's absolutely stunning loved all the looks apart from one i didn't really like the dark look that i did with dust but that's just me i don't really like dark eyeshadows but everything else i really really did enjoy right so this is my highlighter and bronzer drawer and there's some face palettes there i definitely don't want a face palette because i've got one i'm just debating whether i should bring another bronzer in maybe one of the ones i don't really feel like I'm gonna keep hold of. I'm not too sure about this one, you know, I've not used it in a hot second. Let's pull it. And then highlighters. Let's pull this. I've only got two loose. Look at all that hair. Sorry, that's gross. I've only got that two loose highlighters, guys. So we've got the Revolution Pearl Lights, which I haven't used half. It didn't come completely full in true gold. And then I've got my Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics one. And I think if I'm going to get rid of anything, it's going to be this. As we come in to that end of year kind of declutter thing. Yeah, I definitely want to see what I want to keep and what I want to declutter. I can see myself decluttering the big things like this and definitely this right we'll pull that next time i think um so that's that drawer there i know what eyeshadows i want to pull it's going to be singles week plus i'm pulling a little eyeshadow palette so yeah this might be boring for you guys and i'm awfully sorry if it is but it's project pan year for me i really want to get my teeth into it i'm already a little bit late with that so yeah and also it's no bad year for me as well so it's all about making the most of what i've got i not use this much right i want to test this out so obviously these drawers are overflowing and I want to see if I want to keep that or I can pass it on. I actually got this in PI. So I think that's it for blushes. So we've got some lipsticks up here. I just pulled for lips. Have you seen my tree? Still on my little Christmas tree. Um, I just pull for lips when I need them. 
Okay, and this morning I was looking in this drawer to see what palette I could use with the singles that I want to pull. And can you see the handle broke off this drawer? Yeah, that one's actually the blushes I looked in that one. <sighs> Starting to worry me how overflow in the eye. So anyway, I want to use this one. I've not used it in a hell of a long time. It's a pretty cool dose of colours palettes. Palette. Sorry, my finger was in the way. It's a quintet, isn't it, I think. So I'm going to use that. Then I'm in my singles drawer. Have you guessed what I'm going to use yet? <laughs> yes, the Glaminatrix that Karen kindly gifted me for Christmas. I'm going to use all of them. So let's just pull them all out. Two, four, six. And I think that palette, that dose of colours palette would go with all of it if not i've got the makeup geek singles but what i wanted to do is pull the where is it what i wanted to do is do a video comparing the shimmers from this palette against the glaminatrix singles i also wanted to do that with fairy lights as well so i'm gonna pull this anyway and just put it off to the side of me i don't think i'll be using the mattes or anything from it unless unless the ones from the dose of colors just don't work out for me it's a very old palette it's a dose of colors palette so that could possibly be the case but yeah we're gonna pull this as well but not necessarily use it i mean i might do a look with one of these singles and then do a, another look with the actual eyeshadow palette. I do that sometimes when I'm duping the vibes. I just want to show you if it is or it isn't a dupe, um, like the shimmers in it. Let's take these over to the vanity as well. Okay, so it doesn't look like we've got a lot here, does it? So those cotton buds can go back in here. Right, the Natasha Denona palette can go in there. We all know what it looks like, but yeah, I'll show you. There we go. Now I'm looking at it, I'm not sure that they are, especially like this shade, like the more topper shades of it, but there's like this shade here, and there's a shade similar to that in this little bundle here, and then Filigree and Ella as well. I think there's a similar shade in the bundle as well. So I'm going to see, I'm probably not going to use the mattes like I said earlier, I'm hoping to use the Dose of Colours Pretty Cool palette for the mattes, but I might have to use them and that's why I brought it out. Okay, let's pull this bigger drawer out. It's only half full. So, we've got the MUA Glossy Box Blushed in the shade Dus... What's it called? Yeah, I thought so. Dusky Rose. So that can go in. That'll go well with these blushes, I think, if I can hold it the right way around. It is like a palette, a trio palette. I just don't know if I want to keep it. it. I mean, it has got some beautiful shimmer ones, but yeah, um, let's just put that in. I don't know where to put this. I think my only option really is to put it in with all the rest here. So the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dulce de Leche. Yeah, let's just put that there. This loose highlighter can go on top of the vanity. Just put it there for now. So like that. Turn that foundation round a bit. Because we've got the room to do that this time. And then we've got the pretty cool Dose of Colours palette. Let me show you what this looks like. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, I just want to see if I want to keep it around the collection. And while I've got you, while I've got you, would you like to see a dupe in the vibes or is it a dupe against, against this one and the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude? Like quite a few people have picked up on how similar they both are. So I bet you I could do a very, very similar look. I would say these shimmers are a little bit more opaque than the ones in the I Need a Nude. Because in the eye need the nude, you are getting a couple of toppers. But just let me know in the comments if you'd like to see it. Right, and then these are all the ones that I'll be using this week. Six days, um, 
so the shot my stash should only be six days i don't know though I'm, there might be a couple of days where i don't wear makeup or i might decide to use the makeup gig eyeshadow palette like i said you know i am project panning but i'm not project panning hard i do want to get a lot of progress this year and these like if like i said i can actually use the project pan makeup gig eyeshadow palette as well in fact i might just decide to do that I do want to try the Dose of Colours one out, maybe with these two. Then with these two lighter ones, maybe I'll try the Makeup Geek Eyeshadow Palette with actually these three lighter ones and this one here, um, the Makeup Geek. So those four um, will be done with the Makeup Geek mattes and then these two will be done. And then these two will be done with the Dose of Colours Pretty Cool. I think that's a good way to do it. So I'm using both palettes. And yeah, I might do Jeep in the Vibes as well with the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude. I'm not sure yet. It could be a little bit longer than a week or it could be shorter than a week, depending on how often I wear makeup. I wear makeup quite often, sometimes every day of the week, just to get use out of my products. I don't like the idea of my makeup just sitting there doing nothing. That's everything apart from the lipsticks. You've not seen the lipsticks I used last week, so I'll show you. Right, I think most of them are in my handbag um, and I'm not going to go and get that. It's in the front room, I'm being a bit lazy, but I'll show you what I'm putting away and then this, whatever I use next week, I'll try and show you what I've used. So, I've used this quite a bit over the festive season, so that can go back. I used this Ulta one as well in the shade Jungle. I actually like that. It's like a... Um, rosy tone so that can stay in i actually like this kiko one that can stay in but i need to make a more conscious effort to work on the project pam i use this a lot over christmas that can go back it's the tanya bear in the shade is it christmas stocking yeah christmas stocking there it is and then this one can go back as well i didn't really use it i don't think Shall I try and attempt to use that at least once? Yeah, before it goes back. Not bad. And then this is kind of a project pan as well. So yeah, that can just stay in here. So that's them. And I think the only lip gloss that I've used is this one. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. This, to me, this is what the Fenty should have been. So Fenty need to take note from Elizabeth Arden. It's like a clear lip gloss, but as you can see, it's got like blue purple shifts in it. So it's the Elizabeth Arden Sunset Brands Prismatic Lip Gloss. And I don't think I've used any, any of this. I used this over Christmas, but I don't think I've used it in the last week. So I keep those out as well, just for me to use them and uh, see what I want to keep in declutter. So... Yeah, that just stays in there. It's my lip glosses and lip crayons just because I've got nowhere to put them within my lipsticks. So the only two that are going back then are those two. Like I said, I've got quite a lot in my handbag. If you watch the last What's in My Handbag, you'll know. There's probably about 20 lipsticks in there. And if I want to put more in here, like different shades, I can do. So guys, that concludes the video. I don't know how long this video is, but last week's was short. I'm hoping I can get it down to half an hour at least. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, it really does help get my small channel out there. Share and comment. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would massively appreciate it. And I would love to welcome you into the little farm. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.